hello everyone in this video I am going to show you how to create load balancer for uh, Citrix director and uh, how to secure the Citrix director access so this is the uh, detail for the director server so we have two director so ctx uh, iphone dr and ctx iphone dr iphone 1 two director server we are going to create virtual server uh, virtual server fqdn is director.citrixgsr.com and the virtual server IP address is ending with 31 also we are going to create a certificate for uh, director so this is the sub subject alternate name to director name and uh, the load balancer name that is a virtual server name so first I will show you to, to director so this is director 1 now it's uh, unsecured like uh, there is no SSL certificate binded uh, for this uh, uh, director server then second server so this is the second server let me log in so we can access the second director server as well so now the first step we need to create a certificate for this director server so just copy this information so this is ADCS server just open a digisert uh, tool to create a CSR record and uh, to convert the certificate into PFX format so create CSR record so common name is director India so generate CSR record you should not make any mistake here this is the DNS entry for the director server and the virtual server generate just copy the CSR request certificate advance paste the CSR record file here web server submit download certificate just copy the certificate keep it in desktop import So export the certificate into PX, PFX format. Give the private key password. So now we have created the certificate into PFX format. Now we need to create DNS record for this load balancer virtual server go to DNS create DNS record for director IP address 192.168.31 so director ok add host now go to Netscaler just go to traffic management 
load balancing servers so we are going to add that uh, to a director server here so dr ctx dr so first server IP address is 25 so add one more server iPhone 1 26 so we have added two director server under server tab then go to service group create service group for director server dr asg protocol is ssl click ok member we need to add both the server here double four three port number for the communication click ok now create virtual server dr load balancer director ssl ip address for the director hostname 31 click ok we need to bind the service group bind continue we need to install the certificate for this load balancer install local we have created this director certificate right so private key dr lb certificate just link this certificate to if you want you can add ca certificate also continue now go to persistent and then 88 monitoring we need to add okay that's it go to service group TCP we need to use a round robin method load balancer Okay, uh, why it's showing down means uh, there is no SSL certificate installed on the uh, director server. That's why it's showing down. So once we install the SSL certificate on director server, it will show green. Just copy this certificate. Go to director one. Install the certificate local machine. Enter the private key. Now go to IAS. Add HTTPS. Select the certificate. Here you can see the validity. Click OK. Restart IAS. Now copy the certificate. Go to second director server. Install it. 
before that let me show you an MMC console where it will be imported now there is no certificate now you can see one certificate here go to IAS bindings add restart this IA server now we have binded the SSL certificate in the both the server just go to Netscaler refresh this console see now both are showing up because just now we binded the certificate okay, just go to director server use HTTPS director now we can access the uh, director through uh, secure connection here you can see the certificate detail so it's issued on today and it will be expired on 2025 August 11 just go to second director server So this is also working fine now check with the load balancer URL director dot director so load balancer you are also working fine so now I will show you uh, we are not sure uh, which director server you have connected by using this common URL so let me show you how to disable and how to enable the uh, load balancer in the uh, Netscaler just go to service group select the uh, director service group now I am going to disable both the server from this load and then I will try to access the common URL so now you can see both the director server is out of service now try to access the director common URL it's not reaching just go to service group just enable the load balancing to one server now refresh the now see we can able to access the director so when we are doing the upgrade for the director server so we need to disable the director from the load balancer so we can do one by one and now we can enable the load balancing for the director server select enable 
now both the server are part of the load balancing so this is the way to uh, encrypt the uh, director access with the SSL certificate and uh, uh, to load balance the uh, director server so we have created the virtual server in the netscaler thank you